Oh doy. Oh boy. Oh doy. Okay. Oh doy. 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 We do. We do. We have become uh, the Japanese, the J Japanese people. Don't get this mixed up with Chinese, or we'll rip your head off. Really? So you're ISIS yeah. now? Yeah. Uh no no ISIS is uh Asian. No wait never mind. <laughs> ISIS is ISIS Middle is... is Middle Eastern. We are Asian. Oh, I thought they were Indian. Everybody thinks that. <laughs>Body and welcome to the cooking show live. I'm your host Wallace Breen, and today I'm gonna show you to how to make a really scrumptious bourbon baked burger with garlic parmesan fries. All right. So the first thing you're gonna need today with you is a few um, pots and pans, you know, to put the food in. You're gonna need about a like five. You're gonna need a, a, like a five inch pot in diameter with a long handle because it gets hot. You're going to need a tea kettle so you can properly mix all the flavorings for the, the bourbon burger. And you're gonna need a big, old, a big stew pot <laughs> for boiling the meat. Now, what we're gonna do first is uh, we're, we're gonna take the giant pot, we're gonna put it down the stove. We're, we're going to uh, we're going to fill it up with water and then uh, turn it on. See? Oh, right, we're just, <laughs> now that the water is boiling, we're gonna let it sit for a while. Oh my God. And uh, we're gonna um, prepare. I have a question. A yeah. Question. Is this safe? What do you mean it's safe? I am a, I am a world class chef. Salt me. Um, it's perfectly fine. It's, this is what we call hyper boiling <laughs> in, in, in the culinary world. But back, anyways, what you're gonna need next is you're gonna need two pounds of the freshest meat you can get. <laughs> As you can see, I put in a lot of effort in, into finding our choice of meat today. It, it's a it's quite clean, so we won't have the problem of too much fat. And um, it's one of those, you know, chewy bits that make the burger taste really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it on the table. We're gonna um, just hammer it in nice and tenderized with the uh, crowbar or whatever other tool you might have on uh, hand. You know, get that yellow coloring in because that means you're uh, pumping out all the bad stuff from it. And once you you properly tenderized it, uh, we're gonna take it like this, like so, and we're gonna set it in our pot of boiling water. Yep, yep. And uh, we're gonna let that kind of just sit for about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do now, in the meantime, while that's cooking, is uh, we're going to prepare the garlic. Parmesan french fries. So, um, we ran out of potatoes from the last meal. If you saw us make our uh, broccoli potato casserole, you would have seen us use potatoes then. So, to, we're gonna use a potato substitute. It, it's a very fine choice of substitute. Um, for the purpose of this, we're gonna have two and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it on our table here and um we're gonna set it on the table here all right and we're gonna chop it up we're gonna chop it up nice so we get all, all shredded up and then we're gonna pick up the shreds and we're gonna pile it into the pot here and we're gonna put the pot on the other stove So now that we have all of our items cooking, we're going to um, we're gonna take our teapot. You probably for good flavor, you're gonna want something loose, like uh, this newspaper, one newspaper, sir. It, it, 
it has good flavor, trust no, me. No, but, but I was reading it. Your, your newspaper will go on to a better cause. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take it, we're gonna brush it off against the table. Just look how much dust this thing is generating. And we're gonna set it on the table. We're gonna turn down our boiling meat. Uh, David? We're gonna let the, the we're gonna try it a little longer. Yeah. Is this uh, is this safe? Again? Of course it's safe. This I am a world class chef. I know what I'm So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna again tenderize the newspaper. Get it all into the, the strips, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the newspaper, we're gonna put it on an, o an open slot on the, the grill, put our tea kettle on top of the newspaper, and uh, get that cooking now. And uh, now that the, the fries are done, we're gonna take our thing of fries, Set it to cool for about maybe five minutes. We're going to take our our pot of um, our meat here. Um, <laughs> we dropped the meat. It's okay. It's okay. Five second rule. Always remember the five second rule. So now that we got our meat and the flavoring's done, we're gonna extinguish that. We're gonna take our thing flavors. And uh, now we're going to combine all the items to produce the finished product. Da 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 da. So here you're the guest. So here here's your wonderful meal, your Bourbon Street burger and your garlic Parmesan fries. And uh, here's one I prepared earlier for myself. Can we eat now? Yes. Bon appetit. Oh, it's really good. Now, um, there, there's one tiny little health concern. Um, if you get the, um, the organically fed meat, yeah, yeah. you have a chance of developing cancer. Is that what we just had? Uh, well, that's what you just had. Uh, so... I, I'm suing. It won't uh, be fun. Uh, no, no, we can't let you sue. We well, can't let you sue. Who said? Um, I did. Oh, no! 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 You can't kill me. Really? No! I'm surprised you haven't run away yet. <laughs> oh, look! Another body to use for <laughs> cooking. All right. Um, so join us next time when we make a uh, urban style macaroni and cheese.